Hello, my name is Matias Cavodi. I'd like to welcome guys to my channel. Still going strong with Wolverine Week. Today we're gonna to cover Wolverine issue 166. This is actually a pretty awesome story arc. <laughs> I'm missing all the uh, the issues prior to this. Uh, the, this is like the big conclusion to it, where we have the reintroduction of the Weapon X program into the Marvel Universe. Um, in this series and also in the Deadpool series, and then we're gonna get the Weapon X series that was really good. At least I really liked it. This was written by Frank Thierry, and we have uh, art by Sean Spencer. And what happens is, in this particular story, is we discover that because Wolverine was accused of a series of murders, and he was actually, um, he, he had no idea about this. He was under control Weapon X. They would just turn on the button, turn Wolverine into their assassins, and just turn it off, and he would have no idea he would go... He had gone out to kill anyone, but he had like nightmares about this. So he would have flashbacks. Obviously, Wolverine was accused of these murders because obviously Wolverine's claws, when they kill people, leave a pretty distinctive mark. And we discover the origins of the director of the new Weapon X program that I actually liked the idea. So the thing is, Wolverine, when he breaks out from the Weapon X program, when he got his endomanium claws, when he clawed his way out, he actually takes down one of these soldiers that he, he, he tell you're told in the story that like he was just assigned this job. He had no idea what was going on. He just he was really just new. He just wanted to please his supervisor, uh, his uh, higher ups, not supervisors. Uh, I'm not sure how you would say in the military command. But the thing is, he gets clawed up by Wolverine. Almost left. For, he was like almost pretty much not almost left for dead. The guy is brought back from the brink of death and he's he came back with so much hatred obviously for Wolverine for ruining his life he pretty much rebuilds the Weapon X program from the ground up and he creates this whole team of um, mutant assassins well they it's like a mutant black ops team and sort of we can go into that series in another video but what we have here is what when he restarted the Weapon X program, he discovered all those memory implants that they put into Wolverine. They found actually like this back door into Wolverine's mind where they can program him to do these assassinations that were going on. Also, at the same time, we have Wolf, uh, Sabretooth trying to recruit Ma uh, Maverick into this Weapon X program, which I really hate this design for costume. Like the classic Sabretooth design, I can't find in any comic book near me. Man, that's like, I love that one. I really hate it when they, they change up that costume. Wolverine actually gets rescued by this guy. His name is Shiverman or Shiver, Mr. Shiver, something like that. Um, that. This was the only story I've ever seen him. Like, put in the comments below if you know who this guy is or where he made his, his first appearances. Because I, I just, I didn't want to go to Wikipedia. That feel like, feels like cheating. At least for me, I don't do that. So we get the standoff between Sabretooth and Maverick and Maverick's armor, man. I love that design. They have a brief battle between uh, Maverick and Mr. Creed, which actually Creed is able to defeat Maverick. It's like spoilers, like Maverick seems to die in this story, but he doesn't. He Then he's brought back as Agent Zero. And they gave him this really generic military costume that really sucked, but like he, he was really cool in the series. Just the design was terrible. We get the sort of cool part where the, um, the director from the Weapon X programs, like we discovered within your the memory implants, your true origins. Like Wolverine didn't know who he was still at this moment. It's like if you join us, we'll tell you who you are, where you came from, your origins. Like Wolverine, like, go fuck yourself. Sorry for my part of my friends, but <laughs> sort of that's what happens. So Creed puts in the killing blow into Maverick. I remember when this came, I was like, no, man, you killed off this character. Like, I know characters don't stay dead for long, but it's like, you know, you're not going to see him for two or three years or five if you're lucky. At least for me, like the longer the death, like this, it's the bigger the payoff when they, you know, they're going to bring that character back anyways. So Wolverine gets rescued by Shiverman. Again, I don't know who he is. We get 
Wolverine just clawing through Weapon X soldiers left and right. We get a pretty awesome battle between Wolverine and Sabretooth, where Wolverine again is butt naked. I'm going to leave this video here. So if you haven't read the Weapon X series, get your hands on it. It's a pretty fantastic run. See you guys next time. Bye.